let's go let's switch leagues and go to the NBA. We the, the trade that I kind of even before it happened, I ain't saying to y'all, I thought about this trade because there were several rumblings because of the Pelicans. There was somebody like the Pelicans trying to get um on Russell Westbrook. <laughs> that was one of the things the Pelicans people were talking about. But when I when they even before it happened, when John Wall, when they were showing him on TV here, he's coming back. I said, okay. I said, in my mind, I was laying in the bed. I said, wouldn't it be crazy if they swip, they flip flop? Now, the only thing I didn't expect was that the Rockets got a um, first round pick. Now, that surprised yeah. me. But, and to, to be fair, let me, let, I'll start with you, B. Let me get your take on this John Wall Westbrook trade, man. Who do you, you think came out the best? Oh man! Um, <laughs> if, if I had to pick, if I had to pick one team, I, I would say the Rockets. Um, primarily because the, number one, they got a pick. The Wizards had to sweeten the pot. You're not going. You, they they had to sweeten the pot to to take you know Westbrook in this in this contract. Yeah, but um. <sighs> I would be interested to see how John Wall performs in the playoffs. He's never really had the chance to show what he could do True. on a playoff team. True. I'm interested to see now they, you know, they they will be fight they will be fighting I think for a spot, you know, they will probably be fighting for that 7 or 8 spot. I would say I was going to give him like five or six, okay? No, well, best case scenario, six. But, you know, worst case scenario, you got to playoffs. But best case scenario, I would say six in the West. Six? Best six. case scenario. That's what I'm saying. Best case. Best definitely case. about six? a six, I'm thinking. Best but, case. But, K-Man, before you go, K-Man, six. K-Man, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing, K-Man. Y'all know Boogie, <clears throat> your boy, played at Kentucky together. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah, you. Play yeah, too. that might be that little click. And then you know Harden number one, and then them two could be a two and three. Now go ahead, K man. What you got? You got that look on your face, man. All right. So I want to discuss this trade because I am a Houston Rockets fan. So this is guys named Mark Berman. He's like the dean of sports down in uh, Houston. So when Westbrook said he wanted out, and he said something about the culture, Mark Berman he has his resources. He said it that um, it wasn't that it was the culture thing. It was mainly he wanted the ball more. And you're not going to get the ball more with James Harden on the team and that and then Dan Tony's system. Mm-hmm. Now, all this is a problem because James Harden. In 2000, in that 2018 Western Conference Finals was putting up buckets. Everybody always like, oh, he disappeared. He was putting up buckets. But Chris Paul wasn't. Mm-hmm. And then his hamstring went down, and then they lost. They had a three-two lead against the Warriors and lost. And then the next season, in, in the next season, Chris Paul still stunk. So Harden was just like, "I want to win," and this dude's breaking down. Now Chris Paul had a bounce back, but Harden saw two years and didn't believe it. So he wanted to get his boy, and they pushed for the trade, and that was an awful trade. And that trade was pretty much orchestrated by. James Harden, uh, Tillman Fertitta, and um, Patrick Fertitta. So Westbrook coming off of ACL, I mean, coming off of, what is the meniscus? Yeah, meniscus. He wasn't fully right, and then he got right. But the problem was he still is bad basketball-wise in efficiency. Yes. So, So he wanted to get traded. There was no market for him. The only market for him was the Wizards, the um, Hornets, and the Knicks. He still wanted to get traded because he wants the ball. He don't want to win. He wants the ball. He's a stat hawk. That's how he got his MVP. So they're swapping out. Now, sometimes I'm in the D.C. area, just like Sean. Sometimes I watch Wizards games. And when John Wall was playing, I would look at him dribbling, and I'm like, you got somebody open. Pass the ball. I'm like, oh yeah, he would God. always try to take it to the hoop. Take it to the yeah. hoop or do something stupid. Right. And so 
this is the reason why he want John Wall wanted out. Two reasons. The Wizards got mad because he was at some party in the fall throwing up gang signs. And they were like, no. And the other thing is they got Bradley Bill for two years and they wanted to exactly. move this team to Bradley Bill. Mm-hmm. Right. The only problem I got with this trade, it's a it's a win, it's a lose lose situation. Mm-hmm. The only problem I have with this trade is Harden's gonna get dealt and the Rockets are gonna rebuild. That's what yeah. you don't you don't help Bradley Bill by getting rid of one ball hog and getting another one. Put a ball hog on another level with an MVP trophy. Right. So, I, I, it's a it's it, it's like to me it's like they swap one because like it's like Westbrook contract is almost the same as well. It's like they just swapped same. them. Exact yeah. same. <laughs> they right. Same well, year, same money. And in in the rumor is is that after the after this year Westbrook is probably going to be gone. And yes. after this year where Wall is going to Houston, he might leave Houston. Yeah. Then it was saying after the second year, Harden is probably going to go to Philly or something like that, or the Knicks. I mean, or, or, or yeah, met the Nets. Yeah. But um, one of the reasons he so they hadn't um, Houston and um, Washington hadn't talked for two weeks. Harden didn't show. I mean, uh, Westbrook did not show up for training camp yesterday. His agent restarted the negotiation mm. because he wants to play with Scott Brooks because he'll he thinks yeah. that Scott Brooks. Is going to just run the offense the way I run it, mm-hmm. and do what I do, and then sometimes I pass the ball, or whatever. Look, that's another something we're gonna get on after this one. So look, um, here's the thing, man. Just like I told you, I I, I went to the wedding. Uh, this guy in the um, past the battle wedding, man, and and I told you Bradley Bill was in, and there was a rumors around DC telling me he's gonna leave and go to the Lakers. So we walked. I think I told you we were walking out, yeah, and I saw him. And he was walking out. I said, what's going on? He just looked at me and said, what's up? I said, hey, man, look, whatever you do, bro, don't go to the Lakers. And he he kind of like slowed down and gave me like a crazy look. And his baby mama at the time busted out laughing. She was just, and he looked at her like, okay. <laughs> Michelle was like, she, Michelle, she said, why'd you say that? I said, well, I'm just, just messing with the dude. We had a wedding. We was having fun, right? 